Hello everyone, my name is Radi. I'm here to talk today finally about Vitamix and uh, Prevel Super Q. So this video, I know many people uh, dislike my other video because I talk about it but I didn't show the machines in action. So today I will uh, show you the result of the smoothie but first of all uh, this is the Vitamix uh, jug as you can see. It's really a premium quality. This is the blade. Both blenders have 10 years of warranty. Feels really great. Pretty easy to, to put in and off. One thing of the Vitamix that I liked, which this part can be removable, so the blade can be changed. Uh, the Super Q this blender is already one year that I have this blender and what I can mention I I buy this because it has the vacuum pump the lid is a little bit as you can see hard to remove not easy as uh, on the Vitamix but maybe because of the vacuum thing here is the blades I can say that the blades they almost look similar to the ones of the Vitamix they we can say they may copy it you know and the blades they are not removable so if you have any kind of issues you will have to change the jug and this is kind of disappointing um, the warranty on both machines is 10 years but uh, for the vacuum pump unfortunately is only one year so it's something that I dislike and you have the cap for blending is uh, the boss to go which is in the Vitamix is not included. This thing I really didn't like it. And the wires on the Super Q, they are like this, so you can fit them as you like. You put them inside like this and you keep them out. Which in the Vitamix, they are made in this way. That you turn them around like this, which I prefer honestly more the Super Q regarding this. So let's see the buttons and the functional and I will plug the blenders okay so we can have a closer look here for the super Q and the buttons they are pretty clear you know we have soup frozen dessert green smoothies and it's very basic and for the the Vitamix honestly in the beginning, I felt like it was weird, you know, because you set and does not turn on immediately. But after I realized that it's more safe, you know, if you have children or anything, even if they play like this, will not turn the blender. So until you press this button and then will start when the Super Q will start immediately like this. But uh, about noises, the Super Q, I will start from low to maximum to make you hear the, vo the volume. The, Vite, the Super Q have really uh, the noise reduction it function really great the Vitamix will start again so let's start from speed 1 ok the Vitamix is really so noisy compared to, to the Super Q so uh, now it's time uh, for the smoothie and let's go let's okay so we put the the same thing in both of them it's a simple smoothie with kale pineapple some banana and uh, almond milk and let's start with the vitamixes is I'm not expert with the, the Vitamix since it's not my blender. Okay, so I set it. The Super Q, when you use the pump, sometimes some people, they, they had some kind of issues. So I suggest you to clean the rubber because sometimes the rubber does not stick because there is like a little bit of dust on it. So you clean it and sometimes if it does not hold, you immediately start from here to pump. 
so the vacuum will seal everything. Oh. Okay. okay, and we let it seal. So once the pump has finished, uh, it will be very easy. We start from the Vitamix, we set it on smoothie, and let's go. <laughs> With the super Q, when you do the the vacuum stuff, I suggest people to mix it for 10 seconds, a little bit, because sometimes with the vacuum it's really restricted, and then you start, and then you start with maximum power, which is a green smoothie. And, uh, the voice reduction, really, you can notice it now that the blending is uh, functioning. So you can see. I'm really impressed from uh, the power of uh, the Vitamix. Oh, I'm trying to open it, but it feels really, really hard now to open it. Okay. 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 So this is uh, the Vitamix. We'll we'll pour it on the glass. Really smooth. It's really, 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 really smooth. A little bit airy. There is a lot of air inside. Consider, guys, that both blenders, which they have big jugs, the big jug in both cases will generate always more air. It's not like um, a small jug. The one that they have, the small one, they usually generate less air. So let's see the sage. Super Q. Okay, we release the air. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is the smoothie. There is less air inside. Very smooth. Very smooth. Okay. So now we take a look to the two smoothies and you can see there is some more bubble on the the Vitamix the Sage actually I consider that this one they should have put two pumps in one not only one pump so it can suck more air this is my point of view so let's test them both honestly I feel like this one is uh, I don't know if, if you can see is a little bit a little bit maybe like uh, Oxidated more. So let's see the taste. I I taste both. Let's start with the Vitamix. Okay, the texture is perfectly smooth, but you can feel uh, a bit uh, of oxidation. Like uh, I don't know how to explain it. Let's see the, the super cube. It is pretty similar, but uh, the super cube is feels like uh, the vacuum different, but yeah, it's definitely a uh, better taste. Better taste for me, the, the super cube. But in terms of uh, smoothness, they are both the same, really both the same. I wish that the Vitamix uh, would do a vacuum pump or something similar. The, they are both great machines. As I mentioned in another video, I got my my Super Q because I had uh, an excellent offer. Today, my friend she took the Vitamix for seventy percent, and she is filming me now, and she is so happy, excited for her first smoothie and. That's it guys, good luck for your choice.